Well, in a breaking update, the Aam Aadmi Party has responded to the Supreme Court uh, on the topic of having allegedly encroached land meant for judiciary of, uh, for its party office. In its affidavit, the Aam Aadmi Party says it was allotted land in 2015 and wasn't aware that it was judiciary land until 2023 and it is willing to relocate if given audited land as uh, it befits status as a national party. It cannot just move just because the elections are here. We have uh, Harish with us right now. Harish, because it's the Supreme Court earlier which had expressed shock and displeasure that the Aam Aadmi Party is encroaching on land. Originally, that was a lot to the Delhi High Court. Yes, that's right. The Supreme Court has asked Aam Aadmi Party to vacate the land immediately and now Aam Aadmi Party has responded uh, telling Supreme Court that it has not encroached any land meant for judiciary in Delhi. Land was allotted to, to, to 2015. In 2023 only, LND stated that same land was earmarked for Rouse Avenue expansion. Aam Aadmi Party says it, will, it is willing to vacate the premises but requests uh, the court to ensure that it is allotted an alternate space as per its na status as a national Party, Ahmad Party points out that as per government of the guidelines, national parties are entitled to spaces in Delhi. And Ahmad says, as you rightly said, immediate vacation will mean that the party will be left with none of the office space to function. It is entitled to under the guidelines and will be unfair given the impending general elections and the fact that other five national parties operate out of their allotted offices. Remember uh, uh, this, uh, in what happened, Amita, uh, Supreme Court had given clear direction to the Chief Secretary of the Delhi Government, PWD Secretary and Secretary to hold a meeting with uh, uh, the Registrar General of Delhi High Court and immediately the party uh, with uh, the Rouse. No, but uh, Harish, is it up to, uh, you know, the Aam Aadmi Party asking for uh, alternate land arrangement because it says that it cannot just move or move the encroachment because it deserves the status as that of a national party. I mean, how is that explainable that to, to the Supreme Court of India? Harish. Yes, uh, the uh, detailed reading of the affidavit will mean that when the land was to be taken over, it was then stated uh, by the 2003 that not just the vacant land that is adjacent to the Rouse Avenue complex, but the bituminous road and the office of Amati Party exist on said land are allotted to be for the construction. But there is no explanation forthcoming for why due diligence was not exercised by LNDO by examining the pre existing status of the land and its vacancy. This is what the explicit explanation being given by Amati Party for not uh, vacating. Even when it came to know around November 2023 that land was meant for the Rousey Court's expansion. Uh, Amal Party says it is cognizance on, of the necessity of judicial infrastructure for the welfare of Delhi citizens and has no cavils about relocating its state unit office to an appropriate alternate space. Amal well, the Party land that has been with the Amal Party since 2016 and the land and development officer, it is being said, was already informed about the process to allot another land to the political party that has also been under process. However, we get you the highlights on part of this affidavit that has been filed as response from the Amadmi party. All right. Thank you very much, Harish. With that, it's happened. This is the of the morning news. Sir.